Okay, hi again. I actually had started recording before, but a friend turned up. So I was halfway through cutting the other loaf, and she turned up. And because I haven't got a proper uh, video recorder or anything like that at this stage, um, I wasn't able to just pause and carry on. So I have got another loaf here, so I'm just going to show you from that. But I also wanted to show you these here, which are the leftovers. So there's, which I put, so it's got this, this was the titanium dioxide that you can see on the top and the green that's through it. It's actually really quite nice. It's quite a little bee <laughs> in a butterfly. Okay. But, so here is our soap. Okay. edge off so we can see the inside whoops um, it's debating no, I will it's debating which way I was going to cut it I need a block or something to stop it from sliding <laughs> Right. Well, that's got a chunk of kiwi fruit in that one. <laughs> but there is our the inside of it. Put this over here, my. I was doing one inch um, bars, but I've decided that. If it was me, I would want a bar that was a bit bigger than that, so I'm doing it bigger than one inch. And I'm eyeballing it. But so there is our soaps. You can see there's a bit of kiwi fruit there, but here we go. So these will obviously have an expiry date on these ones because they do have the fruit in them. I'm actually quite happy with how it's turned out. I think these bits here that you're seeing are the bits that were the kiwi fruit skin, not the flesh of the kiwi fruit, but the kiwi fruit skin. So I think if I was to do it again, I would actually mulch those up a bit more so that. I actually thought that were quite grinded up, mulched up, but obviously not as much as I had thought. Hmm, so there's a couple of quite big ones there. The other one, hold on. So this is the other bar. They haven't got as big a blobs in it. <laughs> I'm assuming, and you can just actually see, hang on, I'll show you on the other one. You can see the little bits of white that I had on the top. And I tried to get it to come down, but remember it got quite thick, it traced quite, the white traced quite quickly there. So I was trying to get it to do like a drop swirl so I could get it right down but yeah with the titanium dioxide in it it did get a bit too thick so I didn't get to do the um, drop swirl as nice as I could have done. But overall, I'm actually quite happy with how those have turned out. Just cut off the tip of this, the edge of it, I should say. A couple of sample bars. 
it's still I really like it and I can it really really smells lovely right okay um I just want to show you the fragrance I use hold on the fragrance I used is a kiwi fruit fragrance and it is from New Zealand soap and candle which I don't know if I had actually said that in my original um, video where I showed the uh, making of it so I thought I'd better I will put this of course I will put this in the um, comments or whatever <laughs> I'll put it somewhere so that you can um, have a link to it so if anybody's wanting to buy it it is really 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 nice um, I'll actually show you a couple of the other ones that I brought so hold on a minute here Here is my oatmeal milk and honey, which is from New Zealand Can um, New Zealand Candle Supplies, and it is really yummy. I have tried this one, and the candle oh the candles <laughs> the soaps do smell really really good. Um, what else have I got here? This one here is a sweet orange, yeah, sweet orange oil. And this is from Kiwi Soap Supplies, and it is so lovely. I have used that. Oopsie, I have used that one. Which one is this one? This is the lemongrass oil, again from Kiwi Soap Supplies, and I have used that, and it is absolutely lovely. Black licorice fragrance from um, New Zealand Candle Supplies. I I haven't tried this one yet, and I'm not. Does it smell like black licorice to me? So we'll have to see about that one. And this one here is Aged Teakwood Fragrance. It's a manly one. <laughs> it smell. I haven't used this one yet, but it smells really good. Again, another one from New Zealand Candle Supplies. And we've got a watermelon fragrance, which again from New Zealand Candle Supplies. And this one. It does smell like a watermelon, but definitely not a strong watermelon. And this one here is a cannabis flower fragrance, which personally to me doesn't smell like it. I don't know. I'm not a um, cannabis person, so I guess I don't know. <laughs> but this is from New Zealand um, Candle. Oh, what is it? Yeah, New Zealand Candle Supplies again so I um, have not tried that one so we will see so I haven't I'm still to try the um, cannabis flower fragrance the aged trick wood a tech wood sorry um, the watermelon the black licorice fragrance because I only just got those yesterday so I obviously have not tried them yet and um, what else we got here? I have, oh, yes, I've tried the um, sweet orange oil. I have tried the lemongrass oil. I love lemongrass one. It is so lovely. And the sweet orange one, oh, it's to die for. And the oatmeal milk and honey fragrance, I have tried and I love it. So I will definitely be getting more of that. So um, I will get bigger bottles when I do them because, I mean, you have, everyone has their favourites, right? Um, yeah, so that's all I've got for you today sorry the lighting is not very good it's winter over here in New Zealand and um, it's quite cold today and it's a bit dark and it's been a bit miserable and raining and a bit yucky out there so you see you can 
might be able to see out the window a little bit, maybe, no, not really, but anyway. <laughs> um, yes, so please do like my video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will see you again next time. Thank you. Bye.